going on? We back. Mercy Sports Talk. We're in the building. We're going to talk about free agents today. The most important, the most overrated, the most underrated free agent that we picked up this year. So let's get into it, man. Uh, make sure you check out our Detroit Lions playlist. I might be coming with a Forgotten Lions episode today and over this weekend, maybe a draft blast episode as well. So be prepared for that kind of pick back up. And I will try to fit a live stream. More likely, it's more, more than likely it might be a piston or I might do both. So uh, pay attention for that. But let's get into it. And uh, let's start off with the most important free agent. You know, we had uh, Jamie Collins. We had Big V. We got Nick Williams. We got, I mean, you got a lot of guys that they brought back. Um, Des from Trufant, he in there. Um you can just keep going on and on with a lot of guys they brought in. The, the guard from the 49ers, people forget they brought him in as well, too. He may end up starting to have some injury history. Um, but I think, um, I truly think the most important, important position is Big V. And I, I've kind of been going there. Y'all asked me who, you know, I asked who was the most important, off, you know, uh, uh, draftees. And it was the two guards. You know, people would talk about Jeff Okuda and this, that, and the third. They got depth at corner. If, if Jeff get injured or if he, he struggle, Mike Ford can come in and hold down the fort. He's done it before. Armani can come through and hold down the fort. If they have to, they can move. You know, Coleman on the outside, he can hold down the fort. If those guards don't succeed, in my opinion, you know, and the guy they brought from the 49ers, he's here for a reason because he can't stay healthy. <laughs> so the number one goal this year is to protect Matthew Stafford. You got a quarterback who had a chronic back issue. He said he was healthy last year. He wasn't. So if number nine go down, no matter how good Okuda play, no matter how good, you know, whoever else you think play, it ain't going to matter. Chase Daniels couldn't beat out Trubisky last year. So it's not going to matter. We're not going to win football games without number nine. So the primary objective is to help number nine now stay upright and be able to open holes so he don't have to drop back 50 times a game. So Big V is the most important guy here. Now, it may be a chance that Big V might slide to the inside, and maybe they believe in Terrell Crosby to play the right side. We have to see. Bob Quinn hasn't ruled that out with him going into the interior, and then that will slide, you know, Jonah Jackson into the interior. You probably will see Terrell Crosby play the right tackle position. That would be kind of mind-blowing for a lot of Lions fans because they believe Big V is going to be the right tackle, but maybe he not. Reading the scouting report coming out of TCU, it was believed that he was going to transition into the interior of the line. He's better as a guard. So it's a lot to be determined, but let's act as if he's going to be the right tackle. That's an important position. we seen how Rick Wagner got blue-black last year. So for me, Big V is the most important free agent that, 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 they, that they picked up. Because they protecting their most valuable asset. And also they protecting one of the most, you know, lethargic things they had over the course of time, which is their running game. They haven't had a top 10, 10 rushing attack since Barry Sanders left the franchise. So he helps, you know, those the guards I spoke of in the draft video I did in Big V, they they pretty much help Stafford stay upright and they also help Stafford be able to hand the ball off and not take abuse by being able to run the ball. So those are things that, that that they do do. You feel what I'm saying? So when you talk about the most underrated free agents that they picked up, this is this is this is a tough one because I'm 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 really gonna go with Danny Shelton. I'm gonna say Danny Shelton is probably the most underrated free agent that they picked up because they need a run stopper. You know what I'm saying? They struggled to stop the run last year. It sounded like they put, tried to play snacks as a three technique and it didn't work because they didn't have to shine hand to play the three technique. So I think Danny Sheldon, he only plays around 50% of the snaps is because the, the NFL has went to a pass and ha pass happy league. But we know we all struggled with getting after the passer last year. We struggled with stopping the run. Now Danny Sheldon ain't bad at, at, he ain't terrible for a size for, you know, creating pressure, but you will end up seeing other guys come in and rush the quarterback. Now Nick Williams, he had six sacks last year. But he's a run stopper by trade. He's not a sack artist. So those six sacks was an anomaly for him. He 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 missed in Miami. He missed in Kansas City. You know he missed and he just showed up in, in Chicago because of the talent they had there. You know it's easy when you got Khalil Mack and Leonard Floyd and all these other dudes. So Danny Sheldon is probably going to be the most underrated guy. And the reason he's going to be underrated because 
what he do is not going to show up in the stat sheet. He is short tackler. You know, he a good run stopper. And also, he's not going to be on the field every every down. You know what I'm saying? So that's something to look at as well, too. So they really added two run stopping stopping dudes in free agency and Nick Williams, and they added Danny Shelton. So that should help in the, in the, one, in the run stopping situation. So he might underrated. Most overrated free agent, y'all know where I'm going here, is going to be Desmond Trufant. Um, terrible player, straight up and down. I don't care what pro football folks say. I don't care what none of that shit say. I'm just going to say Desmond Trufant. I, I'm just predicting Amani and Rockery is going to take over for him at some point. Um, he got burnt in Atlanta a lot. Uh, he, is good at, he, he is good at press man. He can't press man. But people say, oh, you know, Darius Slay, he is better for pro football focus numbers than Darius Slay. Nobody in this world that watch football. That's why I don't respect pro football focus numbers, only unless you play in fantasy sports. Nobody in this world. Sorry to restart, but yeah, man, I'm not feeling Desmond too fine at all, man. I feel that Armani's going to uh, take over for him, and that's just my humble opinion. Some people high on him. I watch him. You can ask any Falcon fan. They call him burnt toast. We had two pick sixes. This, that. Most of that came in like the same game or something like that. So, you know, I never understood why. I never understood why they signed him. You know, you still got you. You had Darquez Bernard out there who's still who younger, who got more potential. Drake Kirkpatrick younger, still got a little bit more potential. Um, I never understood why Desmond Trufant was the option. They tried to bring James Bradbury here, but he's his own corner again. He doesn't play man. Trufant at least does play man press coverage, but. Like I said before, his better days are behind him. They overpaid for somebody they could have got cheaper. You know what I'm saying? They could, they should have bought Dark Wes in. That made no sense. So, to me, that was the most overrated, you know, free agency. I'm expecting Armani to come in to snatch his job, man. Real talk. I, I'm expecting that. Expecting him to snatch his job, um, you know, right then and there, man. But Trufant is not that good, bro. You know what I'm saying? He. I, his better days are behind him, man. But it's it's not going to be Chris Houston. You know, he's worse than Chris Houston. But maybe he surprised me. People say, well, why is numbers better than Darius Slay? He played less games. That's all up there, too. And he had a better pass rush. Tack McKinley, Vic Beasley. They Orlando is better up front than Detroit was, especially when you talk about scheme. Talk, especially when you talk about bringing blitzes and getting pressure on the quarterback. And that's why. You put Darius Slay on Atlanta, he would he would have ate way better than Der than Desmond Trufant, but that's just my opinion on it. But you know, as far as the underrated ones and the overrated, in the in most important, those where I stand. But I give you a bonus. Um, my favorite one, my favorite pickup as far as what they've done this off season, as, as far as free agency. My favorite pickup is probably Jamie Collins. Now I didn't like the contract that they gave Jamie Collins, but you know, they identified a weakness. You know what I'm saying? They know they need help in the linebacker core. Jamie can help strong side, weak side. He can play the middle. He can kind of, you know, he kind of can temporarily, you know, uh, play the edge and put his hand in dirt and get after the passer. But what he's known for is being an off-the-ball linebacker, covering tight ends, covering running backs. He's a little bit older. But you know what? Instantly, right, instantly he comes in. He beats the, He's the best linebacker they had since DeAndre Levy, uh, especially in coverage. So, um that's the guy, like, that's the, the, my favorite one is Jamie Collins. I just think he's a straight baller, straight beast. He freelanced a little bit, and that's why he kind of didn't really make it in, in New England. But, you know, he's our best linebacker right then and there. And then he could play all three. He could put his hand in the dirt. He can rush a little bit. But he known to cover tight ends and running backs. So we kind of struggled with that the last couple of years with covering some running backs and covering some tight ends and coverage. And when you playing new – when you're going to be playing Green Bay, you're going to be playing the Vikings, you're going to be playing New Orleans, you're going to be playing, you know, Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. A lot of those teams love to go to the back or they love to go to the tight end. So he's definitely going to help there. So, you know, he's probably the most talented guy in a linebacker court. In the front seven, I would say, you know, probably Hand is the most talented guy, even him being a little bit younger. But those are what I believe. Let me know if you uh, kind of – different from what I'm saying, you know, and we all, you know, we all going to differ. We all not going to agree. I don't want a whole bunch of people that agree with everything I say. I want to be challenged. So I do appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal, inscription. You know, somebody did make a donation. My next video, I'm going to shout them out. I just forget their name, man. 
Um, but I shout out to Brandy, already made one. Somebody else made another one uh, via PayPal. So I do appreciate that, man. I'm going to shout you out my next video. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk. We gone.